This is the bank game for multiplication and we'll be doing a one digit multiplier. The white background numerals are the bank and those are the numerals we'll be using to create the products. The colored numerals are for the multiplicand. So for this problem, the multiplicand is 5,873. And the gray numerals will be used for the multiplier. And if we look at the gray numerals on the rug, we can see we have the numerals one through nine, a single zero and a double zero because we'll be using this for our multiplier even when we have multi-digit multipliers. With the bank game, three children might play this game together and one of the child, children will be the customer. The customer is the one who calculates what she needs for each part of the multiplication. The banker goes to the bank and gets the values that the customer asks for. And the cashier's job is to make exchanges when the product is being calculated. So uh, for this game, for this demonstration, I'll be all three children. So the problem we're working on is 5,000 870, and before I begin multiplying, I'm going to decompose the multiplicand, and the multiplier is six. So we know from all the other multiplication work we've done is that we always start a multiplication by multiplying by units, and we multiply each part of the multiplicand by the multiplier starting with units. So we'll start here with three taken six times. Three taken six times equals 18. So if I had a banker, I'd ask the banker to get 18 from the bank. And I'm going to place the product all the way over to the side of the rug because I may need some space for this multiplication. So three taken six times equals 18. Seven tens or 70 taken six times. And because I'm very good at multiplication now, I think seven taken six times equals 42 with a zero or 420. So the banker goes to the bank and gets 420 for me. And when I place this product, I'm keeping the tens in a tens column and hundreds has its own new column. 800 taken six times, I'm thinking eight taken six times is 48 hundreds. That's 4,800, 4,800. And I can see 4,800 this way. I'll place the cards so that each part of that product is in its own hierarchical category. Five thousand taken six times. Five thousand. Five taken six times is thirty. Thirty thousand. And that is its own new hierarchical category. So I've multiplied all parts of the multiplicand by six. And now I can simplify my product. Eight is the units. 10 plus 20 equals 30. So this is where my cashier would be asked to come and make the change that we need. 400 plus 800 equals 1,200. There is no 1,200 card. I know that means 200 and 1,000. 
Here's 1,200. But the thousands have to be added to the thousands I already have. So 1,000 plus 4,000 equals 5,000. And 30,000 is the only number I have in the 10,000s place. So let's recompose our problem. 5,873 taken six times equals 35,238.